So as you should have read on page 232 is if you compare simple interest compared to compound interest, um, we can see that simple interest is going to be just a constant rate. So it's going to be linear growth, a line, right? Think, think y equals mx plus b versus compound interest as we've been talking about. Um, this is going to be exponential growth. So think something like this, right? So if we, we look at the example on page 232 but as a model, but we just do it for the rich uncle example. So imagine you have that $3 again, but your rich uncle just said, oh, I'll give you $3 every day. Right? So if, if every day you get the same amount of interest that you're just going to earn $3 every time, then this is just going to go up by $3 every time. So by day four, I'm only going to have $15, then $18, then $21, then $24. So I'm just going up by $3 every day versus the compound interest when we're doubling, right? So I'm not just earning $3, um, I'm not just earning 100% of the day, the actual day's um, money, but I'm earning money on the money I already have. So I, in the first day I earned $3, but now he's giving me 100% of that new number, including the interest. So I'm doubling that number. So the interest is doubling here. So I'm gonna have my $48, I should have used a blue pen here, then 96, then all right, let's let's switch, not too late. Um, then $192 and $384, right? So the interest itself would be doubling as well as the point. So which type of interest is growing quicker? Certainly compound interest is. Okay, let's look at this graphically. So graphically, um, if we took the linear function and graphed it, the red, um, so I'm gonna scroll down because you'll have your packets to see the actual functions. Um, the red function, the linear growth, um, that's in the form, ah, didn't change color, start again. Okay, the red is y equals 3x plus 3. Okay, so do we notice the slope is 3, right? Because the interest would be going up 3, to, three every day. So for every day you go over, you go up $3. So rise over run is up $3 for every one day. So that's your constant rate of change. And your B value is your y-intercept, right? We're starting at $3 and then we're just going up $3, $3, $3, $3, $3, right? So we have that constant slope. So it's going to be fairly slow growth compared to exponential function, right? We're an exponential function, we're doubling, right? And so when we look at the exponential function, um, that was 3 times 2 to the x, right? So we have a base greater than one. So we have our exponential growth and we see it's growing very rapidly, right? So we have that simple interest is going to be linear growth and compound interest is going to give us exponential growth.